Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, and uh, you know we're going to do another fragrance review as always today. Um, this one is on uh, probably one of the most classic fragrances of all time, uh, least very well known. Has a ton of notoriety. One that I really, really enjoy, and I think as the weather is getting a little bit cooler, um, it's something I'm going to be breaking out. I've had it for a little while now. I would say just about about a year and a half, and it's something that. I had seen, and I, everybody knows it, and, it, and if, you, if you've never smelled it before, please get your nose on it right away, but you've seen it on the shelves, you've heard about it, um, you've probably heard people make jokes about it. it. It's a classic cologne in terms of the powerhouse era, and it's one that I really like, and I remember the first time I decided to order it, I was excited to get it. Um, you know, this one, it's uh, classified as an aromatic fougere, came out in 1982 by the House of Guy La Roche, and it is none other than Dracar Noir. So this one is um, has been around a long time, like I had said. You know, I'm gonna go over the, the presentation. Don't really have the box anymore because I got it with a gift set, you know, so I could get some other items that, to match the scent like deodorant and aftershave balm, which it does have. Um, but we can take a look at the bottle. Um, it's got a lot of notes, so I had to write the notes down so I can read them all off to you. And of course, I'll talk about its performance and you know my overall thoughts and rating. So Again, this particular fragrance has been around for a long time. It is, you know, known to be strong. I've I've seen it even mentioned in many, uh, you know, uh, cinema, even even TV shows. Like I've heard it made fun of in Breaking Bad. I've heard it, um, you know, people just joke about it just because it's such a common, maybe 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 common is not the right word, but I guess you know, uh, popular fragrance. You know, so this particular one um, is has been around such a long time that it has made an impact on a lot of people. And it's such a great fragrance, and it's a great one for you know cooler weather, um, and it smells so good in my opinion too. So you know the we'll, we'll talk about the notes. So here again, I had to write them down because there was a lot of them. I didn't even realize there were that many notes in this particular fragrance, but there are. We have top, we have rosemary, artemisia, lavender, basil, lemon verbena, bergamot, and lemon in the heart of the fragrance. We got coriander, carnation, cinnamon, um, jasmine, and juniper. And then the base is leather, sandalwood, fir, amber, patchouli, oak moss, vetiver, and cedar. Um, you know, this, so there's a lot to this fragrance. It's pretty complex. And, you know, its performance is awesome. I get eight plus hours out of this fragrance, and that's just when I use just the cologne. You know, I don't, it's, an, it's a no to toilette, but um, once I use it, a couple sprays, I'd say three, four sprays, this will last you all day. Um, this is a very versatile fragrance. I think you could wear it for work. I think you could wear it out. I think a lot of people wear it out. I think you could wear it casual. You could you could dress it up. Um, you know, if, if you want to go heavy on it, you can. Maybe for a more formal event. Dracar Noir is such a good fragrance, and it's probably why I would have to imagine this would have to be one of the tops. I know Aqua Di Gio is the the original is the number one seller, but I would imagine this is has has to be up there. I don't know that for a fact. So if any of you guys know that, let me know in the comments section. But um, you know, let's talk about the, the presentation of the bottle. I kind of skipped that uh, real quick. So here we got the bottle. I like it. This is a 3.4 um, ounce, so um, 100 ml, and it is a black and white, just keeps it black and white. We have on the top of the cap there, we got the Dracar symbol. Um, cap is, you can hold it by the cap. It's a nice glass bottle here, Dracar Noir. Um, we have Eau de Toilette, Vaporizer, Natural Spray, Guy La Roche, Paris. On the bottom, you've got not much, not much on the bottom. On the back, you got your brand information. Um, you know, it is made in France on the sides. You don't have much. So the cap comes off and you have it uh, hollow cap in there. It is plastic. And then you got the atomizer too. So it's almost like flat. You know what? I, the atomizer does look a little inexpensive and you can kind of see underneath it like that. I don't really like that. That's the only thing I would have to ding it for in the presentation. But um, the atomizer itself, very good. Great spray. So I'll even spray some on myself here. Oh, man, this is so good. It opens up and it's so green and fresh and woody. This is probably one of the most, I don't know, pleasant fragrances that I own. Um, I really, really like this one. And I know it's mass produced and probably everybody has had a bottle, seen a bottle, smelled it before. It doesn't matter to me. This one is really, really nice too. I had another fragrance that I reviewed um, a little while back called Caesar's Man by um, Caesar's Palace Casino. That one is very, very, very similar to this. A little greener, a little fresher. I actually, I actually like that one a little bit better. Um, but this one, because it's the vintage version, I don't know about this. This is probably the latest formulation. But um, and it doesn't matter, I think, with this fragrance. I mean, you can, you can smell, oh man, it's definitely like you're walking through a fresh forest. Um, and, you know, there's it had just rained. Yeah, this is this is such a cool a cool scent. I really I really like this one. You know, I think this is um, 
Uh, some people say that it's a barbershop fragrance, and it, it is an aromatic fougere, which is that's that's what a barbershop fragrance is. But I don't get that with this one. I don't I don't think I've ever been to a barbershop where I've walked out smelling like Jacquard Noir unless they were to apply that particular cologne to me, which you know that's never happened. Um, I don't think it has the aftershave. It doesn't give me that powdery that powdery scent that a lot of barbershop fragrances do um, put off. Um, this one. You get the oak moss, you get the pine, you get the fresh, you know, up front. This one is, is, is really good. And the dry down is even nicer. And the fact that it performs like a beast is, is, is awesome too. So this is definitely the powerhouse era fragrance from the 80s. And I don't know what it is about those fragrances, but I really, really enjoy them. So um, again, I, I think, you know, where you could wear this casual, um, you, could, you could dress it up. Uh, it just depends on how much you want to wear because it is a strong fragrance. So if you're in a casual setting, maybe one or two sprays. If you're formal and you want, you want to be noticed, you want other people to, to smell it because the sillage and projection on this is excellent, then you can, you can amp ramp up on the sprays, maybe three, four. Um, but again, put as much as you want on it. It smells great. So I, I think, you know, overall, Tracar Noir by Guy Roche. We're going to go, pro, um, not projection, excuse me. We'll go presentation. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's a little plain Prezo, but whatever. That's okay. Um, it's probably the look it was going for. Performance is a 9 out of 10, and the smell is a 9 out of 10. So overall, this is a 9 out of 10 fragrance, in my opinion. I really like it. Um, I've really only smelled this from the house of Guy Roche. I know there is another one. There's Tracar Essence. There's a regular Jacquard, but this is the only one I've ever smelled. So if you guys have any experience with any of the other fragrances from um, Gila Roche, please let me know. Let me know what you think of the review. Let me know what you think of Jacquard Noir. I want to know what other people's opinions on this is. I think it's either you either love it or you hate it, and I definitely love it, man. I think this is such a good fragrance, and I'm really happy to have it in my collection. And when this one is done, I'm absolutely going to buy another one. This is probably one I want to have at, at all time, especially coming into the cooler seasons. This is going to get a lot of wear. I'm probably about halfway done with this one because I did use a lot of it. And then I kind of ramped up my collection, so it kind of got put to the side a little bit, but I'm definitely going to bring it out again. Uh, this is really one that has stood the test of time, and if you have not ever smelled it before, please check it out. You won't regret it. You can blind buy it. You can get it anywhere, and it's not that expensive at all, and it'll last you a long time, and it performs really well, too. So um, thanks again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the review and on Jacquard Noir. Goodbye for now, guys.